I found love in you. And I've learned to love me too. Never have I felt that I could be all that you see. It's like our hearts have intertwined into the perfect harmony. This is why I love you. Ooh, this is why I love you. Because you love me. You love me. This is why I love you. Ooh, this is why I love you. Because you love me. In you and no other love will do every moment that you smile chases all the pain away
gets rough, it can get crazy, but not for us, cause we gotta struggle just to stay up. Welcome you to the wedding of John and Treasure. On behalf of the couple, I welcome you to this celebration of love. I need you to know that a wedding ceremony is a joyous occasion. It's filled with hopes and dreams and excitement. And we're here today to acknowledge and honor the love of Sean and Treasure that they share together and to bear witness to the commitment which will begin their journey as married partners. Marriage is a time-honored tradition and should never be entered in lightly. Sean and Treasure have made a very serious and important decision in choosing to marry one another today. They're entering actually into a sacred covenant that was designed by God for them to become life partners together. While the responsibility to honor and sustain their commitment ultimately lies with the two of them, each of you gathered here today will play an important part to their support circle as they go forward. As their community and support they're, they will go through inevitably times of hardship. And that's where your community comes into play. I ask you as the minister today and as the mom going forward that you approach them with love in your thoughts, in your words, and in your actions toward their marriage. And that you do so with a deep desire to help them stay together. If you will commit to that, say amen. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> so as it's like tending to a garden, the quality of their marriage will be a reflection of the effort that the two of you put in nurturing a relationship. We say I do, but we really do not. It takes time to build a great marriage relationship. It's like building anything, like building a business. You get out of it what you put in it. And if you don't put quality things in it, you won't get quality out of it. And so it takes time. Go at it slow, son. Take a pace with it so that you are not discouraged in the midst of trying to build something wonderful. And so if both of you have come here on your own accord, no shotgun, <laughs> and that you are willing to enter into this covenant with one another, would you both say, I do? I do. And so this great couple have written their own vows, and I'm going to step back for a moment and allow them to express from their heart this agreement that they're making with one another. I knew he was gonna make me go first. Yeah, he got a steal. Never did I imagine this feeling that I have now and have had for the last seven years. You have been my light, my stars, my love, my soul, my everything, and one of my most greatest achievements. Today and every day forward, I give you all of me, from the tip of my hair to the bottom of my feet. Every inch of my body is yours to keep. I've placed my heart in your hands, and you've held it with precision, respect, 
admiration, care, lovingness, and place it within your protection. For this, it is easy to kiss your feet, my king. For this, it is easy to walk beside you as your queen. For this, it is easy to love you eternally. So today and all days ahead, I vow to love you with everything in me, to protect you with my everything, to follow you as you lead the way, and to get matching Air Force Ones on a Saturday. <laughs> to continue to cherish you, respect you, communicate with you, honor you, uplift you, hold you, soothe you, praise you, mentor you, care for you, share with you, be there for you, scold you, encourage you, strengthen you, sharpen you, joke with you, and grow with you. You've made it easy for these things I will always do. I will love you forever and a day. So, I thought long and hard about what I was going to say to you at this moment, and the only thing that can come to my mind is uh, uh, what the Bible says, and uh, how when you find a wife, you find a good thing, and you also find favor with God. Now, when I started looking up the words, because you know I'm into word. It reminded me of how people say God is good. Meaning that good is God and God is good. It equals each other. And when I found you, it was God because there wasn't going to be a you. I vowed to myself not to ever get married again. So, speaking in God and good, you're a virtuous woman. You have so much value, it's worth more than gold. You make me better. You make me the man that I thought I could have been, which is going to make me better than I should be. I love you with all my heart, and I'm putting it all on the table. Inside joke. <laughs> so I vow to you to be who I already am. Your strength, your backbone, your army, your soldier, and your lover. So at this time, I would like both of you to look at one another and look at each other in the eyes. And I'll begin without giggling. Uh, I'll begin with you, Sean, and you repeat after me and say, I, Sean, take the treasure to be my wedded wife, to laugh with you in joy, to grieve with you in sorrow, to grow with you in love, as long as we both shall live. And would you repeat after me, treasure? I treasure, take thee, Sean, to be my wedded husband, to laugh with you in joy, to grieve with you in sorrow, to grow with you in love, as long as we both shall live. Do we have rings for the ceremony? May I have the rings? Ooh. <laughs> Wedding rings are symbolic reminders of the unbroken circle of eternal love. That was the reason for wearing a ring, that every time you gaze upon it, it was there to remind you that your love is never supposed to be broken at any time by anyone. With the safety and comfort of a true marriage, love given freely has no beginning and it has no end. Love freely given has no separate giver and a separate receiver. 
Each of you gives your love to the other, and each of you receives love from the other. May these rings serve to remind you of the freedom and power of your love to bring both of you back together. As I give you these rings, and Sean, as you're placing the ring on Treasure's finger, repeat after me. With this ring, I give you my promise to honor you, to be faithful to you, and to share my love and life with you in all ways and forever. You may put the ring on her finger. All right, now Treasure, would you take Sean's hand and would you repeat after me? With this ring, I give you my promise to honor you, to be faithful to you, and to share my love and my life with you in all ways and forever. You may put the ring on. <laughs> At this time, we're going to do a symbol that's called the legend, the legend of the sand. One thing we have to remember is that if we have children and extended family, when somebody gets married, everybody gets married. And everyone becomes a family. They did not want to leave the children out of that ceremony. And so we're going to include them at this time as part of the wedding ceremony. So if the children would join us. I'm going to step to the side so you can see. This bride and groom today, you are making a life commitment to share the rest of your lives with each other and honor your children as well. Your family relationship is symbolized through the pouring of these individual containers of sand, one representing you and your children, the other representing you and your child. The bride and all that you were, all that you are, and all that you'll ever be one representing you and then our groom with all that he was all that he is and all that he'll ever be and their children are gathered in the colors of those containers at this point they stand symbolically alone they stand as individuals but as they enter into this covenant they can no longer be individuals because the Bible teaches us that the two shall become one, and in this case, the family becomes one family. And so with their children, they're going to take the sand, and they're going to pour it in the middle container, and we're going to pour those in there together. You ready? You may pour. As the grains of those sands become intermixed with one another, one does not lose the color of the other. In other words, their personalities and individuality remains constant, but they become meshed together, blended together, and they become one. The legend goes on to say that the only way that they can walk away from one another is if they have the ability to pull the grains of sand apart from one another. And seeing that that cannot be the case, that they are meshed together by this legend we've just shown you today. And now having entered into the covenant of marriage by the exchange of vows, by the pouring of sand, by the giving and receiving rings, and by the power that's vested in me, 
I pronounce you husbands and wife, and traditionally, we're going to seal that with a kiss. Shana and Treasure, our best wishes go forward from this day with you, and we wish for you a fulfilling life, rich in caring and in happiness and in prosperity. May you find a gentle and peaceful life that nurtures and comforts you, and that reflects your honesty, kindness, and integrity. There is a wonderful life ahead of you, life that is full, life that is full of love, even with the changes and choices that you make, let life amaze you and bring you great joy to the audience that's here and family. It is with great pleasure that I present to all of you Mr. and Mrs. Sean Cheltenham.
of the evening. Of this day, and this is Charles Tiffany. toast, well I'd like to make a toast to the bride and groom, a celebration of love. Trisha, we can uh, officially welcome you into the family. You know. Uh, although, <laughs> you've been family from day one. Aww. I could say that uh, you and Sean are perfect for each other. I could say you fit well together. But what I will say is that you are a perfect fit for each other. You professed your vows to each other and in front of many people. Marriage is a covenant of love built on that foundation. Every day it's a work of art. It's a work in progress. So keep it, keep, keep the faith, and keep working at it. Um, we are, we'd like to say that uh, seek and find harmony, peace, love, and happiness for many, many years. We love you both.
Longer than seven years, but yeah. One more time. Um, we'll look at longer than seven years. I was having a conversation with Sean. We were on the phone. He was really emotional. He told me, he said, Sam, I'm tired of this. I'll never ever do this again. I'll never give my heart to a woman. I won't put myself into the place where I can have somebody else violate the type of love that I have to, to disperse. Because I'm a good dude. I'm tired of this. He was trusting to me. And I told him that life's a numbers game. We deal with as many people as we can until we find the person we're supposed to be with. We never know when that number's gonna happen, when it's gonna come, but that number came. So when he first met Treasure, I told him, see, I got you. I knew this was gonna happen. This is the energy that's supplied when you actually deal with somebody. And from that moment to this point, they've been together ever since. Man, I'm proud of y'all, man. I'm glad y'all together, man. Much love. I love y'all. I can't wait to watch y'all spend the rest of y'all life together. Okay. All right, well, I don't know anybody else would like to give some words. Anyone, anybody else would like to give some words? We all love you guys. Did you want to give some words? Just from everybody. No, just from I'm drunk. I'm drunk. And I love you guys. And I'll always love you guys. Since the first day I've met you guys, you know that, right? And I, I love you. And everybody here. And I'm drunk. Yeah! Give it up for the job, man. I don't know what's saying. Me. Okay, so I don't know if it was the first time we met you or the second time. Well, I remember that you went to the store to get us some stuff. <laughs> he went to go get us some juice. And he was so nervous that night that when he came back, he dropped the juice. And he was he was like, oh yeah, I'll go get more. I'll get more. And we just started laughing like that. But that was, I knew that you were like, gonna be in her life for a long time that night. Cause like, you no, know, like you acted like a oh, man is supposed to act like men. Like oh, you were acting like all the other men. That was the thing. That was the thing. Oh, thank you. Tear bags, man. Okay, so I'm a little sick, <laughs> but um, I just would like to thank you and your family for just allowing us to blend over the last past seven years and just stepping in and being like my second dad. Well, really I consider you like my dad dad, but <laughs> you just being in my life and helping me grow and become a better person. I really appreciate you. Aww. Love you, Papa. She intimidated me, scared the life out of me. Because I just knew she was going to beat somebody up. 
<laughs> that's the persona she gave off, you know. But once I got to know her, she is such a loving person. And when I met Sean, I could see why they love each other. They have a love that just kind of showers over everyone. And I just want to wish you guys the best. All right. Okay, I have one more. Here you go. Make this real quick. Hey, man, I love both of y'all. Just some quick words of wisdom. You know, a lot of people are talking about uh, they want to be in a relationship, talking about it's a 50-50 thing. That's a lie. It's 100-100. Yeah. And keep it always 100. I love y'all. I met Treasure in seventh grade, and we've been friends ever since. We're sisters now. Um, <laughs> and part of our group is Nicole, like the three of us. We went to junior high school together. We grew up together. We learned to be women together. We tried to navigate life together. We tried. <laughs> we tried. And here we are. So this moment is beyond special to us. Um, this is a milestone she don't know, but for all of us. <laughs> um, Sean, when Treasure met you, hey, hey, hey. I 
I love y'all. God bless your whole family. Okay, I'm last. I'm last. I'm last. Yeah, you, got, you got some more. Oh, okay. That's it. After you, and then we gotta wrap it up because our DJ gotta go. So, come on. Hello, everybody. I'm Shanley's first cousin, and I've known him all my life. He is an amazing guy. He is an amazing husband. I am so excited that you're with him. Now, this union right here, I did not know it was going to happen. When I met Trezor, she was on the set of In Laws from the Hill, and she was playing a role. And I never knew that this in this would happen, but it really works. It really looks good and I like it. I hope that we can all hang out and do music because I see we have a common um, ground there. So I'm so happy that you have a beautiful family, girls, and no sons, right? Not yet. Great, because I got some yeah, nephews yeah. that can come hang out. <laughs> well, congratulations to you all, your marriage. May God bless you and I love you both. Thank you. What's up, little bit? It's a little bit. Okay. I'd like to thank kids, first of all, for introducing y'all. Right? The first time I met Sean, he like, well, I like that car in the drive. I had just got him. I'm like, oh, I like him too. Let me give him the keys. <laughs> I know y'all is gonna be together forever. I love both of y'all. That's my brother. Love him. Trez, I love you unconditionally. And you know this, how you love me. And I love my girls. And I love mom and dad too now. Hey, family. as well as my business, and I love you guys. I wish you guys nothing but the best, and I say thank you for even allowing me to be a part of your special moment today. It means the world to me. Okay? All right, that's it, because I'll have y'all to be uh, Yo, 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 one, two, one, two. In the place to be. <laughs> no, uh, everybody who was invited to this room, I consider my family. If anybody in this room knows who I am, knows if I don't like you, you will never be around me. <laughs> not, and I'm not talking that, I'm not saying that you should be privileged, I'm just saying because I love you as much as I love my family. And the reason why you're here enjoying family things is because I consider you my family. So thank you. And uh, when we have our anniversary, it'll be a different party. That's right. We'll actually have live music and probably people on stilts and alpacas and stuff running around. <laughs> but come down, enjoy. We love you. You're my family. So when I call on you again, let's get together and have a good time. OK? What he said. <laughs> I'm going to keep it short and simple, but um, all these beautiful faces in here, I want to give a special, special thank you to, I'm not saying everybody didn't work hard, but the hardest working two women. Mm -hmm. Where's Tico and Monique? Y'all come here. 
好，那我邀请他们。What you see here before you today was put together 300 miles away. They live in LA. I'm going to just say that. They live in LA. And this woman over here showed up and showed out. I had surprises left and right, tears of joy, tears of love and admiration. I love you so much. And you, this one we raised. Right. We raised exactly. this one. Exactly. And now she grown. And when I tell you, Nicole, you come on out here too. No, no, I don't do that. Oh no, no, no. Come in forward. When I tell you we've been together for so long, it is amazing to see these beautiful women grow and blossom the way they have. And I never say it, but I admire each and every one of you. I appreciate you, I adore you, and I want nothing but the best for you in life. Don't you cry, you cry in the car, okay? But I wish you all success. Whether you realize it or not, I've watched you grow. I've watched what you've done with your children, with your husband, with your family. I've watched the decisions that you've made, and it made me a better woman, it made me a stronger woman. I've watched you be so strong and independent and no matter what you do, you keep it pushing, you keep your head high, and you keep your crown straight. And for that, I love you and I adore you. Thank you for being you. Monique, you don't watch all of us make mistakes. You don't watch all of us be successful. You watched all of us fall on our face. You helped pick us up at times. So to you, learn from it, grow from it, don't make the same mistakes, and be bigger and better and better. And keep your crown straight too, my queen. Everybody in this room, I love you guys so very much. Thank y'all for showing up. My family, my loved ones.
That's what we do after this. This is nothing. <laughs> 